my dear students teachers members of the indian society of remote sensing ladies and gentlemen my hearty greetings to all of you on the eve of the national remote sensing day i join dr senthil kumar in welcoming you to the national workshop on popularization of remote sensing based maps and geospatial information indian society of remote sensing having 5000 members has been in forefront in popularizing remote sensing in the country as well as in the asia pacific region the society celebrates 12th august the birthday of dr vikram sarabhai the father of the indian space program as the national remote sensing day the topic of today's workshop touches everyone and hands the country why map or geographic information is so important in the development of a nation it is because the word map explains the relationship between different objects or the processes or phenomena or the functions in other words is explains the physical relationship between the features or objects natural resources infrastructure climate and people thus the nation development or a growth depends on the information derived from the interrelationship between these aspects india is growing rapidly and will continue to do so in coming years the major challenge is to sustain the growth we need to address the issues related to water resources agriculture energy urban and rural development transportation health education environment and many others the transformation of india will depend on our understanding of the needs and the aspirations of the society participation of citizens academia industry accountability of governance system and delivery of effective services we will need robust information and decision support system for planning and implementation of various developmental programs remote sensing and gis has been mainstay around which such information and decision support system have been built today with mature remote sensing global navigation and geographic information systems and advances in computing and communication technologies it is possible to build such decision support systems and provide location and web based services in india during last 30 years or so remote sensing has been used by many research organizations national state and local governments and good knowledge base has been created private entrepreneurs have also shown many innovative applications and shown viability of commercial ventures we have planned today's workshop to popularize remote sensing technology and applications and enhance use of remote sensing for improving quality of life of our citizens there are many such examples the information on weather touches everyone the use of satellite data in weather forecasting models have tremendously improved the forecast of the weather our prime minister during his program on man ki baat encourage all citizens to use this information for day to day activity that shows the kind of improvement which has happened in the weather forecast by using the satellite based information the tsunami warning system built around geospatial technology is capable of providing information about travel time and run up heights of the tsunami wave at 1800 locations along the indian ocean is an another example this system is completely automated and conveys an accurate tsunami information 
to all stakeholders within minutes. Similarly, for cyclones, the forecast of landfall point, wind velocity and direction as well as inundation have been proved to be extremely valuable for saving lives. Satellite-based services provided to farmers and fishermen have dramatically changed their lives. The information on potential fishing zones and sea state conditions are provided daily to the fishermen for very efficient fishing. Today, most fishermen has been using this information very effectively. The weather service provided to farmers have proved to be very effective in increasing the productivity. According to National Council of Applied Economic Research, these two services have brought annual benefit of about 100,000 crores every year. These services are built around GIS and uses remote sensing, communication and information technology very effectively. This allows local, state and central governments as well as society to make informed decisions. We need to build such services for many vital sectors such as agriculture, health, education, rural and urban development, infrastructure, etc. It is envisioned that the today's workshop will address various anticipated application needs through development of such information and decision support systems by innovative techniques. The Indian Society of Remote Sensing believes that remote sensing and GIS should be a mainstay of our planning of economic, environmental, as well as social programs. The current exercises, including today's workshop, will certainly enrich the national capability of using space technology and GIS. We are of firm opinion that India is now ready and prepared for inclusive development, informed governance and providing citizen-centric services. I urge all participants to this workshop to contribute towards the enhanced use of remote sensing based information in the development of our country. Thank you very much.